What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got a fun recipe. We're going to be making some barbecue stuffed shells. These things are going to be awesome. Great little appetizer. Fun at parties. Let's get into it. Today we have got a pound of ground beef. We're going to be adding into these. And then we went and got a pound of uh, breakfast salsa, just as the Jimmy Dean's is the hot. Throw that in there. Get that off there. Try not to leave any behind. And let's go ahead and get us a glove on. These are going to be delicious. Fun little food to eat. Super Bowl's coming up. Getting playoff games. I'm using Heath Riles garlic butter in these, and then I'm also using our Mad Dogs barbecue rub. Give it that nice barbecue flair and taste. Great flavors in here. No certain measurements. I just like to eyeball, I know where I'm going to. Then we're just going to take and start mixing this by hand get everything incorporated make sure all the rubs are in each little piece we're going to get out get things sticking to my glove here use a little bit more here a little sprinkle and a little bit more of our Mad Dogs rub another mix set that off to the side alrighty now we have got our cheese we're going to be adding in there we've got sharp cheddar and some mozzarella and I should have opened this let me get my camera assistant to open my cheese cheese is open I'm going to dump that in there oh half bag of each about a half bag of each in there and we're just going to get this mixed up into our ground beef and our sausage and if it see if you see you need a little bit more you can always add it and I'm going to throw my bowl into the floor I did the same thing with the last video same bowl Make sure all our cheese is mixed up good in there. I think it's going to be enough cheese. Alright, everything's good and mixed up. I'm going to change my glove out. So we went ahead and we pre-cooked our jumbo shells that we're going to be stuffing our meat mixture into. And then we're going to take and wrap them in some delicious thick cut bacon. So let's get started stuffing these. You just want to take you a little pinch, kind of just form it in, and right in. Now make sure after you cook these, stick these in the refrigerator, let them cool. They're a lot easier to work with, and they don't break apart on you, and they're not scalding hot. I got a couple of these done. I'm going to get the rest of these done, and we'll be back. All right, guys, we finished stuffing all of our shells. You can see there, we got our bacon cut in halves, and we're just going to lay this right on the top. This ain't going to cover the whole thing, then we're just going to grab it and stick a toothpick in these, just like that. Grab you another slice of bacon. This is the time consuming part, but it's going to be well worth it. Take your bacon, go across. Kind of form it up just a little bit. Toothpick and sticker through. Just like that. You can see. And your bacon's going to adhere once it cooks. All right, guys, we're going to try something new. Usually we wrap them all in bacon, but I want to take and top these with some cheese. I'm just going to use our mozzarella just to top these off and make a mess while I'm at it. Because why not? 
Try something new. Somebody don't want bacon or don't like bacon, but I don't know anybody that don't like bacon. We will have these for them. I'm going to take our Mad Dog's barbecue rub and give these a nice little sprinkle on the top on that bacon. Just like that. And we will clean up our mess later. Sure you will. I've actually got these sitting on one of my pizza racks. Um, it's just easy to transport and it's got some good airflow. So let's go ahead and get these out of the Traeger and we'll be back. All right guys, we got these on our Traeger running about 350. We're gonna let these run for probably about an hour and check them. Our bacon should be good and crispy by then. Everything should be cooked up. We'll get them back. We'll get some more goodies on them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got these off of the Traeger. Our bacon's crisped up nice. Some of them kind of ain't so pretty, but hey, it don't matter. They're gonna taste good. I'm gonna be using our old red barbecue sauce. Let's get this open. I'm just gonna pour this into a little bowl. Now I'm just gonna start getting these off and just giving them a nice little dunk and roll here. Ain't gotta go too heavy. Just get a couple of these off. Just like that. Then as soon as we get all these done, put them back on the Traeger for about another 10 minutes. Let this sauce tack up and we're gonna be eating. All right guys, we have our stuffed shells off of our Traeger. And I can't wait any longer. These things look delicious and smell delicious. Let's get in here and give us a bite. We got one of our cheese top ones and our bacon wrapped right here. Mm. Grab me a towel here. That is off the chain. So good. You get all the nice flavors in there. It's such an easy little, just grab a couple of these and go. You got a little football party or whatever, grab you a couple of these. Awesome. Make them for your friends and family. Let's get in here and get us, let's get us a bite of this just cheese top one. Cheese top is just as good, but that bacon just pulls it all together. Make you up a bunch of these for a Super Bowl party. Have fun with your friends and family. They're all going to love these. We're going to get in here and get us a couple more of these. I want to thank everybody for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, everybody. Our jumbo shells here usually use we have pre-cooked our jumbo shells usually we use manicotti for I'm using my earth not mine it ain't mine